Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and we're gonna do an update on the big boy bin today. Oh, growing a forest of squash here. I don't know if you can, oh, you can see that. Sometimes it makes me wonder if I could pull these out and plant them. I mean, obviously not now that I've screwed them up, but you know, it does seem to proliferate here in the bin. So I'm gonna move the stuff over and we can get to searching for our little buddies. Let's see, got an orange here. Well, you can tell they've been doing a little bit with it. But I'll have to admit that I, I really have not been uh, babying this one at all. I have just been throwing the food in and walking away. Been kind of busy at work and haven't had a whole lot of time to mess around with the worms. But again, with it being kind of dry in here. I've been giving them some really wet feedings um, is, you know, a lot of coffee grounds, which are really wet and they, they usually are very, very, they stay very wet and it's a big squash of water and, but looking at all the underneath here, let's, let's check the other side. I think that is where the, I threw everything the last time. Aha. There we go. That's where the last of everything went. Got a little gnat problem over here. Do I have a worm ball? That is the question. No, not really. Nope. Well, they're certainly trying to do something with those bags. I think I read someplace that they're for industrial composting and not household composting. I don't know how that does me any good because we don't have any industrial composting places around here. We've got landfills. Uh, I'm not sure. Apple? or orange. I'm not. Maybe orange. I don't know. More orange. Kind of dehydrated. So again, we will have to definitely give the big boy here quite a bit of water. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, where does the water go? It's crazy. The amount of water that I have put in here in the last month or two. It's, it's hard to believe that there's not like a soup when I'm digging in here. Yep. Oh, there's kind of a little worm ball. A little kind of disappointing, really, in the scope of things from what I've seen over here. I'll just keep rotating around the bin and you know, maybe we'll find something extraordinary. You can see. It is really very worked over. There's a big guy, another uh, another stubby. And it is this bin that I seem to pull him out of. I don't know what that's about. Ooh, look at that one. That is chubby. Look at that one. He's a keeper. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the big guy there. I'll put him in my hero bin. I don't know if there's any validity to it or not, but maybe if I keep putting super big ginormous chubby worms all together, then I will make a super awesome, extraordinarily huge European worm. I don't know, the color in these seems to be better than in my other bins. Some like the the stackable bin. It is very much um, 
the worms are almost white in some cases. Yeah, but they are totally working through everything here. So I'm going to gather up the food into one place and bury it in the middle and get it watered. Or I'll put it all in the middle and I'll bring you back. Back in a second. I don't know if you get a sense of scale here for how deep you are in the bin. But uh, I know a lot of people say, oh, it's the surface area. The worms won't go any deeper than 18 inches or whatever. I beg to differ. Um, I've been digging around here for about a half hour. And uh, pull you up here and show you how deep that is. All right. So I am still finding worms all the way down there. I decided to keep digging because I was like, maybe it's like swampy, like a little bit deeper. Nope, I don't know what they're doing with the water, but uh, I think this is just gonna have to be one of these things where I'm gonna have to put a couple gallons of water in here every week. Alrighty, at least until I get this thing emptied. All right, I'm gonna go back to rummaging around. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So what I have done here is I have taken all of these compostable bags here and I've laid them down in a row. And then I'm putting my coffee filters down on that. And then I'm putting the leftover food. As you can see, there's there's quite a bit of orange peels and everything. I also have some spinach that has gone bad on me. Can, no, I'm not sure if I can do this one hand. That's why it went bad. I can't get into it. Okay, so that's going in there. One of the times I wish I was wearing gloves. We've got the, the spinach on there. There was quite a bit of, of bedding that got looped in. Not gonna do anything too much with that, but did have some bananas that, uh, I don't know, five years ago I would've made bread out of, I suppose. So, gonna put, let's see, what is it? Four bananas, four bananas, ah, ah, ah. four bananas in there on top of the food that didn't, food that didn't get used up. And I know nobody said, everybody says, don't do that. But I just told you, I've got 55 gallon drum that just keeps drying out. So I'm gonna, I know, I'm gonna do the bad thing and I'm just, I'm just closing it. I'm gonna check on it again tomorrow, but it's probably gonna need another one. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the, the big boy bin for the day. Um, go permanently. If you wouldn't mind giving me and my stubby little friend here a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, we would love that, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good night.